Good morning. This Mass is being streamed live, and for those of you who are joining us from the internet, welcome. We're glad you could be with us this morning. Today's Mass intentions are for Dominga Bryan. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, and to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in, words, in what I have done, and what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, ask Blessed Virgin Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, by whom we are redeemed and receive our adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive full freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, how can any one of you with a case against another dare to bring it to the unjust for judgment instead of to the holy ones? Do you not know that the holy ones will judge the world or the world is to be judged by you? Excuse me, if the world is to be judged by you, are you unqualified? for the lowest law courts? Do you not know that we will judge angels? Then why not everyday matters? If, therefore, you have courts for everyday matters, do you seat as judges people of no standing in the church? I say this to shame you. Can it be that there is not one among you wise enough to be able to settle a case between brothers? but rather brother goes to court against brother, and that before unbelievers. Now, in, indeed then, it is in any case a failure on your part that you have lawsuits against one another. Why not rather put up with injustice? Why not rather let yourselves be cheated? Instead, you inflict injustice and cheat, and this to brothers. Do you not know that the, in, the unjust will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor boy prostitutes, nor sodomites, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor robbers will inherit the kingdom of God. That is what some of you used to be, but now, you have had yourselves washed. You were sanctified. You were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and the Spirit of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight of his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord no, takes them. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord, Lord. Loves his people, his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go and proclaim the good news. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world. 
that you may go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called the disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles, Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. And he came down with them and stood on a stretch of level ground. A great crowd of his disciples and a large number of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the coastal region of Tyre and Sidon came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. Even those who were tormented by unclean spirits were cured. Everyone in the crowd sought to touch him because power came forth from him and he healed them all. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, before he appointed his disciples, his apostles, he went somewhere praying by himself, praying to be connected with his presence of his father. And after praying, he came back and he appointed his 12 apostles. Jesus' ways of appointments is different, like the way we get appointments from our bishops, from our offices. They said, we have appointed you to be the general manager because you are qualified, because you have a PhD, because you have done this and this for long experience. Jesus appointed his apostles by looking themselves their way they are. He knew them from the very beginning, but he was not looking them with their professions, but he looked at them from their heart. Today, Jesus reminds us that he knows us, and he meets us where we are. And he has called us, each one in a special way, like those 12 apostles, to proclaim the good news. The good news of faith, the good news of love, and the good news of peace. Yesterday, I went at Kroger for shopping. And I was not wearing my Roman collar. And then after buying all the stuffs, I was pushing that cage, and then when I put everything in my car, so I left the cage, the place where it's supposed, on the way coming back, I saw one lady coming with the cage, and then I greeted, Madam, how are you? And she said, I'm fine. And she said, I was following you. I wanted to tell you. I like your parish, and your parish is very good parish, and you have very good people, and you have been helping me so much. Thank you, and she left me. I was surprised because I came to know that uh, no matter who you are, no matter how I can wear, the people they know, not because of my way of dressing, but because of what I do and because I serve. Ascension, you are very known because of what you serve, not because of your profession, because you open your hands to welcome everyone. You open your hands to welcome our brothers and sisters, either through social ministry or through the liturgy here when we are sitting together for the Eucharistic celebration. Some, they are not Catholics but they come to be engaged 
because of the way you put your trust in Jesus. Some, they come because they see the way you are all united as a community. And that's why every time when I say, the family that stays together, prays together. Let us continue to witness Christ. Let us continue to respond the way Jesus is calling us as missionary disciples. Let us do it with love and with joy and with service. You don't know how you touch the people's lives as you always say thank you. Amen. Please turn. Lord Jesus, you have showed us the way that you know us and you always embrace us. As you appointed the 12 apostles, you continue to remind us that we are chosen. And for this, we pray. We acknowledge that proclaiming the good news is not a simple ministry. We need our sacrifice and we need our commitment. Through the intercession prayers of all the disciples, give us courage always to proclaim the good news. And for this, we pray. We know that sometimes life is not the way we expect. There are ups and downs. Give us courage always to embrace and even to acknowledge our weaknesses. And for this, we pray. We thank God for the gift of life and for the gift of peace. We pray for those people who are sick in the hospitals, in the, even at homes, and for this we pray. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for the past 50 years. Your grace and spirit have enabled our parish to proclaim the word, celebrate the Eucharist, and save our local community. In thanksgiving, we pray for all those parishioners who set the parish foundation and for all those who throughout the years have joined us in our mission, in our celebrations, or have sought our help. Please continue to pour out your Holy Spirit upon us so that we will always be missionary disciples who are joyful expressions of your Son within our parish and into our community. We boldly proclaim that Jesus is alive in our parish, welcoming the lost and leading us all to new life in him. We ask thee through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, who become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. 
It is true, right, and just to do to know salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as without voice we are claim. Heaven and earth are full of glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that who have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Dominga Bryan, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that she who was united with you a son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in all mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Peace be to you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 The body of Christ.
I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us pray. Grant that you are faithful, O Lord, whom you nourished and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. On behalf of Dick and Jim, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And for those who are watching online, also thank you for your prayers and for your participation. We are all chosen by Jesus. But he has given us a responsibility to do, that is to proclaim the good news. Each one in a special way. Do you recognize those people around you that you have the mission to take them to Jesus? By your word, by your love, by your service, you can lead them to Jesus. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to you.